Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to show you a book that I have called Machinery's Handbook 16th Edition. It's published in 1962 and as you can see it's a pretty big volume of everything you need to become a machinist or a practical mechanical engineer in one handy volume. Now all kidding aside of course you'll need other books like the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. No, not that one. Let's see. Design of Machinery, Norton's Design of Machinery, this is pretty good if you want to learn uh, machine design, you know, stuff with four-bar linkages, cam design, motion control, gears, etc. And Shigley's Mechanical Engineering Design, another great book on the same topic along with some stress analysis, solid mechanics and, and the like. Differential equations, of course, you're going to need those. Um, yeah, but if you want a volume to keep in the machine shop, this is your go-to. This particular version, being that it's from 1962, it has some extremely useful and relevant information to, for today's information age. For example, how to calculate using the slide rule. I mean, we all use slide rules today, right? And, of course, it's got math tables. So, like, powers, logs, reciprocals, and stuff like this. So if your slide rule runs out of battery power, you can just turn to this book and it'll give you accurate results. I mean, who needs a calculator anyway? <laughs> All kidding aside, ah, I don't even know if that was funny or not. Um, this book has a lot of reference information that is actually relevant today. For example, uh, strength of materials. I just turned to a random page here and it tells you moments of inertia formulas for some common shapes. So, for example, squares, you know, rectangles rotated at any angle, because um, center of iner moment of inertia is relative to an axis. And so, if you have something rotated in a machine or whatever, you can calculate some quick back of the envelope calculations using the formulas in this book. Now, let's see if that focused actually. Yeah, you can see that. I hope. Going through this book, we also have sections about cam milling, gears, machine tool drives, f speeds and feeds, screw thread systems. Now, granted, a lot of the information in this book is in all-American standard units or British general imperial units, not metric. And the only real mention of metric in this book, being that it's from so long ago, is a section right at the very back of the book telling you about the metric system of weights and measurements. Right over there. Yeah, see that little section? Yeah. This much, that's all you really need about metric, right? I find this book useful for just flipping through. Um, after I got an internship at a company uh, that makes buttons and housings and stuff like that a lot of the stuff in here made a lot more sense because before that I didn't really have any practical experience with a machine shop a lot of important information on design is in here too for example in the section on spur gearing it has a section in here backlash in gears and how to design gears without backlash I like the introduction a lot let's see what it says the preface, in fact. Machinery's handbook, since the publication of its first edition in 1914, has continuously increased in popularity throughout the world. It is now used extensively as a standard work of reference in all countries where machines or other mechanical products are designed and manufactured. The aim of the publishers is to make each new edition of greater practical value than the preceding one. And that, I think, is the key to Machinery's handbook. You can't use it necessarily as a guide for sort of learning the theory behind mechanical engineering, all the, you know, all your your formulas that will be found in, for example, dynamic systems modeling and analysis, where you have a whole bunch of, you know, derivatives and partial derivatives and integrals and all that. This book has no calculus in it. This book is specifically for those who are making things, who are actually doing something with those formulas that we learn in school. And I think that is what makes Machinery's Handbook so valuable. I picked up this copy for five bucks. That's a steal, considering how much useful information, practical information is in here. 
how many charts, for example, about springs, how many diagrams. Let's just look at all these things here. Diagrams, formulas, stuff like that. If you don't have time to derive anything, but you just want to use the formula, that's what this book is great for. And that is why it's in my library. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Till next time, this is Super V Power, signing out.